Well, it finally happened. There's a problem with my saw stop. Before I get started, I have an exciting announcement. I just finished a limited production run of my digital readout kits for DeWalt DW735 planers. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link up there and also down in the description. I have a limited number of these for sale on my Etsy store. The link will also be down in the description. The price is, I think, pretty fair for what they are, and the kit comes complete with everything you'll need, including all the 3D printed parts, all the hardware, and the caliper. So if you'd like one, please act fast. Go down to my Etsy store in the description. So now, let me try to describe the problem. I've been using it recently to make several different projects, and it's normally working fine, but every now and then when I go to turn it on, this happens. In case that was difficult to see, the green light, which means the saw is ready, just turned a solid red when I turned the paddle on. Fortunately, just over here on the side of the switch, there is a key to tell me exactly what that means, and solid red means replace cartridge. Now, replace cartridge is a little bit confusing to me because I just replaced the brake cartridge about four months ago. I had an accidental trip when I hit the aluminum extrusion fence that I have attached to my miter gauge. Now, if a brake cartridge were five or ten bucks, it wouldn't be that big a deal. When I bought the saw, a cartridge was about sixty dollars. Now, they're a hundred dollars. So instead of running out to my local Rockler or heading to Amazon or Home Depot and getting a new cartridge, I decided to call SawStop, which is the first time I've ever had to call a tool company for customer support, and they walked me through a diagnostic procedure. I figure I can't be the only one this has ever happened to before, so I'm going to share what they told me with you. Step one, don't panic. This is probably fixable. Step two, leave the paddle out in the on position. Don't push it back in. For me, it took about 10 or 12 tries for me to get this error message, and that obviously takes a little bit of time, so leave the paddle out. Step three, you want to rotate the bypass key 90 degrees to the right and hold it there for a few seconds. The red light will start to flash a certain number of times slowly, and then the green light will start to flash also a certain number of times. Each of the number of flashes will correspond to a certain error code. You want to write down those error codes. So let me show you what that looks like. Three red. And eight green. And now it's going to repeat. Three red. and 8 green. Now it will continue to flash that error code until you turn the saw off. However, you're not done yet. There may be a second or even third error code. So now repeat the process, turn the key to the right 90 degrees, and hold it there. Two red, and seven green. Just to verify, Two red, and seven green. So now write that code down. And now I'm going to repeat this one more time. You want to keep repeating this process until you get that first error code again. So that was three red and eight green. That was my first error code, so now I'm done. I called SawStop back with those two error codes, and the customer service representative was extremely nice and very knowledgeable. He put it into his computer, and they ran it through their algorithm, and they determined that the problem was, in fact, a defective brake cartridge. Before I ran the diagnostic, the other two possibilities that the gentleman told me that it could have been were a problem with the power switch, which then would have had to be replaced, or a problem with the wiring of the brake cartridge, which also would have had to have been replaced. So this was the best possible news. I asked them for a replacement brake cartridge, which they said they would ship the next day, which is today. Clearly, I haven't gotten the new cartridge yet. Once I get the new cartridge, I will install it, take the old one out, and then ship it back to them. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I still love this saw. I would still recommend this saw 100%. And I've said this before, and I will say it again. I would never consider buying any other brand until or unless they have the saw stop safety feature.
If you did find this video useful, please let me know by hitting like or subscribe or commenting or all the things you know you can do. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you next time.